The video you are about to watch is going to address some difficult topics, including sexual assault and dating violence. If you want or need support at any time, either while watching this video or later, please call the support hotline 541-346-7233 or 541-346-SAFE. Welcome to the University of Oregon. Here, you'll learn a lot about U.S. culture and campus life. You'll get a chance to discover new interests, participate in exciting activities, and meet some wonderful new people. But before you immerse yourself into your new educational environment, there's a few things you should know. A big aspect of being in college is meeting new people and forming different relationships. You'll get to know your teachers, create new friendships, and possibly develop romantic and sexual relationships. As you develop friendships and deeper relationships, it's important to know what is and is not comfortable for you. Sometimes someone might force you to do something that makes you uncomfortable. That is not okay. Not everyone will experience this, but the university wants you to be able to recognize these situations and to know that you don't have to tolerate that behavior. We also want you to know where you can get help if you ever want or need it. This is Richie. She's a swatter for the University of Oregon. I'm a student leader who is trained to educate students on campus as part of the Sexual Wellness Advocacy Team, or SWAT. We work to inform students about sexual assault and dating violence, as well as start conversations about healthy communication and relationships. Dating violence, also known as domestic violence, is the use of abusive behavior by one partner in an intimate relationship in order to gain power and control over another. Abusive behavior is frequently the combination of physical, sexual, emotional, psychological, and or economic abuse. In a healthy relationship, you should be respected and treated fairly. A respectful partner shouldn't blame you or pressure you to do something that you don't want to do. They shouldn't physically hurt you or make you feel unsafe or be extremely jealous or mean. A healthy partner does not try to control you. They should allow you to make your own choices. They should allow you to feel safe. They should treat you fairly and make sure that you feel comfortable. Let's take a look at an example of what an abusive partner might say or do to gain control in an unhealthy relationship. I'm just trying to help you with your homework. Could you please stop getting upset with me? Why? Well, I thought you were a little smarter and you could help me more than this. I have to go. Could you please hand me my backpack? I want to go. Where do you think you're going? You can't just leave me here. Don't you love me? Of course, I just have class. If you leave right now, I'm going to tell people you've been cheating on me. Please, I'm going to be late. No, I don't want to hurt you. But if you try to leave, I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop you. Dating violence can happen in many ways. This is an example of a situation where one partner tries to control the other. In this situation, the boyfriend tries to control the girlfriend by saying he'll spread gossip about her and potentially get physically violent with her later. This is an unhealthy relationship because the girlfriend does not feel safe. She is not respected or treated fairly. Sometimes dating violence can be confusing. It can feel like your fault or you deserve to be punished or hurt. But no one deserves this to be an unhealthy relationship. It is not your fault, no matter what anyone says. Sometimes a person who's been physically or emotionally abused can feel confused because they still love or care about their partner. It's okay to feel unsure about what to do. Even if you still love or care about your partner, it's important to know that it's okay to tell someone if you feel unsafe or uncomfortable in your relationship. Some signs of unhealthy relationship behavior are when someone tries to control or manipulate you. They tell you what to wear and who you may speak to. They criticize you and they call you names. Some other signs of unhealthy relationship behavior would be if someone is physically hurting or scaring you. This might include if your partner shoves, slaps, hits, or even throws things at you. A respectful partner does not call you bad names, insult you, or make jealous accusations. They also don't try to control where you are all the time or who you spend your time with. Once you are able to recognize an unhealthy relationship and understand what dating violence is, it is important to get educated about where you can go and what you can do to get help. At the University of Oregon, we care about our students' health and well-being. We want to create a campus community that is a safe, rewarding place to learn and experience new things. Take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, and know that you are not alone here. There are caring people who are trained professionals that work at the university 
who are able to provide support to you if needed. For more information, visit safe.uoregon.edu or call the 24-hour hotline at 541-346-7233 or 541-346-SAFE.